Says you need to hit them where it hurts, inflict as much suffering as possible, and make it clear your tribe is a terror to their existence. Murder and mayhem and other terrible things happen. He's sure you've seen it before. Here's the first line of defense. Bomb lobber. That hit the spot, wrecked it. Barrel shoot. Smack it to get a barrel out of it, then hit it toward the gate and blast it. That looks slowly. Shoot it and watch it blow. Not too close, though. Kaboom! You're in. Keep going. Here's the second line of defense.
good smack. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. He says you did a great job capturing the outpost. You're one step closer to ending the tribe wars. Figure you'll know when you're on a roll. The Quirk Quarp outpost. The Netra tribe first beat this into shape. Let's see. Says they've been waiting for you. They're ready to bring death and destruction to the outpost. He says you'd better be. There is a high boom team ready to help with taking over that outpost, but it seems their arc shooter is busted. Seems happy to hear the arc shooter will be dropping high booms down on the outpost quick like. Get up there and get fixing. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Just a few moves left, make them count.
Just a few moves left. Make them count. All fixed up. The arc shooters are already gearing up the high boots. Hope their aimers are fixed too. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. He says you did a great job capturing the outpost. You're one step closer to ending the tribe wars. Figure... Let's see. There's the Sovereign who runs this outpost. Mm, you get your... He didn't expect his outpost to be invaded, but now that you're working with their rival, he can see why. He argues coming here without an invitation and bad intention is the same as invading. He has no illusion what their rival stands for. It's their last line of defense. Once their guardian falls, they will serve. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Thinks you did a great job capturing the rival's third outpost and believes the rival is weak enough to engage them at their fort. Says they won't stand a chance against you. Let's see. This is the tribe's last stand. Conquer this fort and that'll be the last of the resistance. The tribe will be under your command. He says you'd better be. The plan is to fling you over the wall with a sling lobber. However, he wants you to secure a hard hat first, should anything go wrong. Explains that it's a type of catapult that uses a long arm to propel a projectile. 
or in your case, a gutsy, hard-hatted head. Heads up, that's Peak Spot, a great place to watch the world from. Who knows who might be watching you? You need to get the keys in sequence. So, the technology from yesterday's is still here today, even if its message is getting old. You need to hit them where it hurts. Inflict as much suffering as possible. You're the hammer on their nail. That's a fire starter. The dry grass looks like it would ignite easily. You just need to create a spark to light a fire. It burns brighter than the light.
The battering bonker looks like a great way to get through the gate. Bet you just need to knock and it'll open up. That's bonkers. The Netra tribe this values is... liberty and Ooh. is striving to protect freedom. They Wolf want to continue with each well, tribe being responsible for their dog. own and believe that uniting Rob. the tribes is Rob. the only way Rob. you can survive. He was hoping it wouldn't end this way. There's no reason to fight instead of uniting. It would be fighting over nothing. Like? He'll fight for what matters. Today, he'll fight you. But tomorrow, he hopes to fight by your side. The rival Sifu is defeated, and the destiny of their tribe is in your hands. You are free to choose their fate, but not free from the consequences of your choice. You'll decide the fate of the rival. His kind are ready to die for him, but he considers himself lucky to have a friend who's ready to end someone for him. And with that, you're spinning your own fate, good or bad, never to be undone. One by one they'll fall, until everything is brought into subjection. He's gotten news that your tribe's justified terror has paralyzed the remaining tribes. There's an opportunity to end the war early. He agrees the current reign of terror is an extreme measure, but it's justified, as it'll free everyone from starvation and restore peace. It's clear your way of waging war has been successful. And now that the tribes have experienced this war of yours, they're ready to do whatever it takes to make it end. So, do you want to end the war now, or continue fighting? He was expecting you'd want to continue. It's better to show than tell, but he'll accept the remaining tribe's capitulation. 